What's up, students? I am Richard Etl Jr. and welcome to our physics session. What comes to your mind when you hear the word light? Are you wondering why the light from the sun when covered by the clouds, then the clouds move, then the light suddenly appears again? In this lesson, you will learn the different theories about light. Early models of light were concerned with the source of light. Did light originated in the eyes or did objects emit light? The tactile theory was based on the ability of the eye to touch objects. According to Plato, light consisted of filaments or streamers coming from the eyes. When these filaments came into contact with an object, the sight was established. The two most successful theories of light were the corpuscular theory of Sir Isaac Newton and the wave theory of Christian Huygens. Newton's corpuscular theory stated that light consisted of particles that traveled in straight lines, while Huygens argued that if light were made of particles, when light beams crossed, the particles would collide and cancel each other proposed that light was a wave. At the end of the 19th century, James Clerk Maxwell combined electricity, magnetism, and light into one theory. He called this theory the electromagnetic theory of light. According to Maxwell, the light was an electromagnetic wave with the same properties as electromagnetic waves. Maxwell's theory, however, was unable to explain the photoelectric effect. In 1900s, Max Planck suggested that light was transmitted and absorbed in small bundles of energy called quanta. While Albert Einstein agreed with Planck's theory and explained the photoelectric effect using a particle model of light, the quantum theory combines the two major theories of light, suggesting that light does not always behave as a particle and light does not always behave as a wave. And that concludes our lesson for today. You can research historical models of light, tactile, emission, particle, and wave models. To evaluate your understanding regarding our lesson, I am encouraging you to answer the quiz present after this video for proceeding to our next lesson. Good luck!